want to get right to the nasty weather covering much of America this morning. There's the monster ice storm that caused death, damage, and delay in the middle of the country. And now a new storm brewing in the northwest. At least 12 dead thus far, and it's not over yet. ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z is, of course, on the story. Hey, Ginger, good morning. Hey there, Dan. You know, so many folks spent their week looking like this, their Thursday, Friday. This picture from Dallas, but once we got rid of that ice, it kind of squeezed together. It was a lot of snow. Look at Vincennes, Indiana. They had more than a foot in some places, but this was almost about 11 inches that you're seeing right there, that Vincennes picture. Just amazing amounts of snow. Now that storm has moved on. You can see it all moving out. Just a few rain showers left in parts of the Carolinas this morning. But then you're waking up and you're in the mid-Atlantic or Tennessee and you say, wait, I have a winter weather advisory or winter storm watch. This is for Sunday night into Monday, another storm. And yes, we're talking inches of ice, possible sleet, freezing rain, all that ugly stuff again. And of course, we've got to talk about the West because there's another big one we're talking about. That's Corvallis, Oregon. And they had some big time snow coming in inches and inches in places that don't necessarily get it and don't necessarily get it this early. Look how much more snow is going to fall here. I'm going to bring you through the next 24 hours or so. This low pressure system slips through the West. The mountains picking up quite a bit. You could see some Sacramento and Redding flakes mixing in and then the cold. That's where we find Little Rock, 20 degrees this morning. It's not getting any better. And Steve Olsensami is there with the story on the ice. Good morning, Ginger. This storm is certainly leaving its mark on Little Rock. The ice still hard on the ground. Then it was the Ohio Valley and now the Northeast where the storm is bringing its first measurable snow of the season. Overnight, the ice storms that rained down misery on the South Friday hit with every bit as much of a punch to the north and east. Oh my goodness, <laughs> winter's here. It's definitely here. In western Pennsylvania, this Brink security truck losing control and flipping on its side. In Ohio, drivers trying to change lanes on the slippery highway left four vehicles on the side of the road. Two people had to be hospitalized. Some word of advice from a driver out in the cold. Don't be out there. <laughs> Be careful. Overnight at the DFW airport in Dallas, hundreds of canceled flights left 4,000 people stranded and frustrated, forced to spend the night on cots. This morning, more than 200,000 still without power, most of them in North Texas. Power lines were helpless to the ice. In Arkansas, this power pole snapped in half. Take a look at what the ice almost did to this bus in downtown Little Rock. The driver had to slow way down. Conditions were so harsh, at least a dozen people have been killed since the storm, many in accidents like these. For children here, this was one of the first real winners many of them have ever seen. They told us it's definitely ice and not snow because the snowballs they were throwing hurt. It's ice. It's ice. Yeah, yeah. 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 no ice. doubt. Those children hoping they won't have classes Monday and might certainly get their wish if conditions continue. Some great news for those passengers who were stuck at airports overnight. Those flights will be taking off today. Bianca. Good news indeed. Winter arriving early this year. All right, Steve, our thanks to you.